guys, what's up? Today we're going to talk about something that you guys should be investing in before this season ends, and that is going to be the Charge with Light mods. Now, there are a ton of these mods. However, some of the older ones are a little bit harder to get, i.e. Um, you're going to have to just probably get lucky from Banshee. He rotate like here's one right now. I already have it heavy handed. It's, this is one of the good mods. Anyways, um, he rotates these out daily, so you can check it. Y you can check either log in and check it out, or you can go on the Destiny app and look at vendors. That's usually what I do. Um, but you're gonna want to you want to get this mod for sure, heavy handed. But all the other mods, you're pretty much gonna get the rest of your mods from the Prismatic Recaster. Um, you might as well just buy all these unless you guys are really low on mod components. Um, but it's just better to have these than to not have them. Now, I don't even have all of them because I have not been on this game, unfortunately. So I haven't been able to collect every single one that you would potentially want. But we're just going to go over them anyways. Um, so first off, obviously, you're going to want to get take taking charge because this allows you to become charged with light by picking up orbs. Now, that's arguably the easiest thing to do, especially if you have masterwork um, weapons or you're playing with a team. Shield break charge is probably, I, I would say, maybe the second. These top three ones you're, you just want to have because this one's not too bad, especially if you don't have masterwork. You can just match the element type um, or empowering finish is super easy, but it does consume one tenth of your super energy. So there's a drawback there. That is why I believe that taking charge is the best one for getting charged with light. It does also cost three energy. So there's that to consider. These ones are only one. Moving on to this one I should have bought. I think he sold it a couple weeks ago. Anyways, uh, Powerful Friends. They used to stack this, but it, it, it no longer stacks. It only one mod per build, what have you. But when you become charged with light, nearby allies also become charged with light if they're not already. And then you get a uh, plus, plus 20 mobility if you have um, an arc mod socketed in the armor. Now with the mod changes coming, uh, you don't, you won't have to have the arc mod socketed in, in the same piece of armor as the powerful friends. It could be anywhere else in your build, which is going to make this mod even better because plus 20 mobility, especially for a hunter, gives you your dodge back so quick. It's actually insane. Uh, our next one up, which he is currently selling heavy handed, uh, the heavy handed mod while charged with light, regain half of your melee energy when you use a charged melee ability, consuming one stack. Um, also the secondary with the arc mod while surrounded by multiple combatants, defeating a combatant with fusion rifle, shotgun, sidearm, or submachine gun adds ammo for that weapon to your reserve. So any of your builds, um, with shotguns, I mean, the sidearm is actually pretty, pretty nice now with the travelers chosen, but, um, submachine guns or shotguns, this mod is gonna it's just going to give you it's going to give you free ammo basically for um just being surrounded and killing people with those guns on top of anytime you melee somebody with full energy you're going to get half of it back so definitely heavy-handed is one you're going to want to want to get next up on the list uh i'm going to throw protective light in here um while charged with light you gain significant damage resistance against combatants while your shields are destroyed this effect consumes all stacks of charge with light the more stacks you have the longer the damage resistance lasts now you lose minus 10 strength but the survivability you gain with protective light is well worth that minus 10 strength like you could be in the red with no shields and survive longer depending on how many stacks you had survive longer than you would with full shields so that's why this is going to go on the list. It's pretty nutty. Um, and like I said, guys, uh, you're just going to have to check back daily for the Prismatic Recaster and Raul or not Raul Banshee because they rotate daily. Another one that's going to make the list that I also currently do not have um, heal thyself uh, with, while you're charged with light grenade final blows heal you and consume one stack of charge with light. With the right timing, with this mod activated, grenade attacks can essentially become instant heals, um, tearing through weakened enemies for free heal heals. So if you throw like a solar, you know, it doesn't have to be a solar grenade, but like, the, you know, the incendiary grenade and you blow up a bunch of thralls, uh, you just get all your health back. Uh, the heal thyself mod 
stacks with other heal thyself mods and other armor pieces but it does cost four energy so that's something to consider bringing to our last but not least dawn for the armor one um while charged with light defeating combat combatants with void damage grants a chance to drop special ammo this effect stacks all consumes all stacks to charge with light the more stacks you have the higher chances of gaming gaining ammo drop so that's that's pretty cool because one of the best guns right now for um pve at least is uh the gnawing hunger which is void anyways so that's you you lose 10 intellect which kind of uh it means you're going to spend more time trying to get your super back but do you need special ammo more or do you want your super more is the question that's what this is going to answer in my personal opinion guys going into beyond light i feel like since they're changing all of this the way the system works for mods these are going to be very important going forward so i would get very used to them and try to collect as many as you can because who knows how you're going to be able to collect them going into beyond light i'm assuming um banshee will still have gunsmith materials or not gunsmith he'll still have these mods every day uh they'll rotate out but if they add more mods that's just gonna lessen your chance to get all the other mods you actually want and i would just be going for the ones currently so with that being said guys um hopefully you found this video informative um go ahead uh subscribe to the channel because we're gonna be cranking out some more destiny content especially with beyond light coming in less than a month now so um yeah with that uh i'll see you guys next time Bye bye